one, two, three o'clock, four o'clock rock. Four Trenton Catholic Academy basketball stars sign letters of intent to play at the collegiate level. And in football, we relive a night that goes down as one of the finest in Steinert history. I'm Mark Fontes with sports. Basketball's not even underway yet on the high school hardwood, but at TCA, it's basically never out of season. Today at the school, family and friends joined the trio of Iron Mikes, and so far the one lady Mike who will be playing college ball a year from now, Robin Perkins, will be attending St. Francis University. Brandon Taylor will take his long locks to Penn State. Chaz Patterson is headed to Mount St. Mary's, and Charles Cook will be playing at James Madison. The four follow a long and growing line of TCA athletes who make it big. They also make many proud, including their athletic director. Winning is great, don't get me wrong. I love to win titles, and we've been winning a lot of things here, but days like this are more important. It makes everybody here, here at Trenton Catholic very, very proud. I hope that we help them get to where they, they wanted to go. The Iron and Lady Mike's open play next month. To football we go. Without exaggeration, the 2011 Steinert Spartans have played like a Super Bowl team. They have set offensive records. They have set defensive marks. Their kick return specialists have made runbacks Devin Hester would be proud of. And all week throughout the extended practice sessions and grim resolve to erase the feeling of the loss a week earlier to West Windsor South, the Spartans headed into a Friday night war at the shore looking to make history. The full moon punching a hole in the nighttime sky above Wall Township, New Jersey on this 11-11-11. The Steinert Spartans, eager to make history, came into the game poised and ready for the Wall Crimson Knights, who nearly one year ago to the date knocked off the other Clockner Road School convincingly. They won 48-21 at Nottingham last postseason, and few believed in these Spartans. Critics said they'd go one and done like they typically do in the playoffs, but with hundreds of Hamiltonians there pushing behind the team, the east side of the township was ready to witness greatness. Right from Wall's first attempt to put points on the board. They looked so flat they'd make real walls jealous. 17 Tyler Block recovers the muff snap on this field goal attempt, but that was where moments later Steinert's offense would go to work. Quarterback Adam Reese and company, shotgun formation. Reese drops back to pass, dumps it off to Tyler Zandamenigo, an almost immaculate reception-like catch. Zando runs left, picks up big yardage. He'll get knocked out of bounds inside the 20, so Steinert inside walls red zone early. Reese play action, can't find an open receiver, does find an open hole to run through, cuts left eventually, Burrows through a pile, and he's in. Touchdown, Spartans. A 15-yard scamper by the senior QB puts Steiner up 6-0 in the first. The point after attempt was blocked. On defense, the Spartans made it a long night for Wall QB Stephen Cluley, who here didn't look like he even had a clue. Dean Lucchese going in for the sack. Knocks the ball loose on the goal line. Spartans say touchdown, but Cluley recovers it. Spartans want a safety, but the refs determined that despite Cluley's body being in the end zone, the ball was just a couple inches outside it. So the Crimson Knights punt from there. Kazir John blocks the kick. It's loose. Jeff Matinelli and Zando hurry towards it. Zando downs it at the three-yard line. First and goal for the Spartans. A.J. Mastrangeli and company all fired up. Reese out of another shotgun formation. This time doesn't waste a second. He jogs right and right on in for his second touchdown. Moments later, they bring Miss Barry Deptula on, who does not see a red arm blocker kick this time. 13-point lead for the Spartans. Cluley and company able to march down to midfield on this drive, but he's terrorized some more by Kazir John. And and Enoch Asante's contribution, a sack. The Spartan defense with all the momentum in the first half. It remained 13-0 Steinert at the break. Early third quarter, Spartans received the kickoff. Reese handing it off, this time to Keon White, who runs left and into some traffic. But watch him emerge from it and totally head off to the races. No Crimson Knight anywhere near him by the end of this. Touchdown, Steinert. History in the making for the lean green fighting machine. They try for two after, but were stopped to the lead now 19. Cluley and company distinctly in comeback mode. He hands off to Pete Maselli, who is greeted oh so warmly by Ryan Malagrino. The Crimson Knights would eventually get their air attack together and move down to the one where Cluley forced his way in for a touchdown. Wall avoids a shutout, but still in a deep hole. Midway through the fourth quarter, still needing two touchdowns to win. Lucchese, who wasn't quite able to sack him earlier, does so here. The Spartan faithful get on their feet. Clock ticking inside four minutes. It's Cluley back to pass. Fourth down. He looks for Jordan Petita. Throws it right, but it's picked off by Jordan Dunn. The Steiner football Spartans experience the joyous reaction that comes with realizing all things are possible. They carry out the proverbial Gatorade bath, but they don't even get head coach Dan Caruso. Nevertheless, Steiner, for the first time in 53 seasons of football, wins a postseason game. All kinds of emotions coming out on this night that Steiner High School will never forget. Afterwards, fans, friends, family, all wanting to shake hands with these gentlemen and lady now immortalized in Spartan sports history. The way we played tonight is just incredible. Um, this is 
uh, I don't even know what to say. I mean, this is amazing. When we said the whole week, we said history is our word, and we want to make history, make a name for ourselves. And I feel we did tonight. We proved everybody wrong, and I hope we really turn some heads. I mean, it's right here. This is what matters most to me and my team. We came together. We're so emotional right now. It's not even funny. It's the best feeling in the world. I'm, I'm so happy that I happen to be on the team to make history. I'm happy for all my teammates. We're in the weight room. We're pushing weight. We sweat. We would run at 7 o'clock in the morning every Saturday. We, we would be in six feet of snow. I mean, I want to say we, we really deserve this. We work so hard at it, and I'm just so proud of everyone. And finally, Team of the Day is brought to you by Prior Nami Business Systems, a full-line computer sales and service center, your business solutions headquarters. The Princeton High Little Tigers boys soccer squad won that long-awaited MCT final game on Sunday. They beat Pennington 1-0, completing a treble of title wins. The CBC, MCT, and Group 3 Central Jersey crowns are all theirs. Tune into WZBN Sports later this week for highlights of Sunday's game. That is all for sports on this Monday. In a moment, Mercer County close-up.